your question might be, what kind of downscaling or bias correction methods do I need? And uh, what is really important is, what is your particular uh, question? Eh? For what kind of impact of adaptation question do you need the data? Uh, for some questions, you might only need simple future temperature information. Now, then a very simple bias correction might be enough. If you're interested in future meteorological or hydrological extremes, you might need a more complicated assessment. Again, we can help you with that. Use the forum or contact us or talk to us during the, uh, the midterm meeting. Um, but this is important to link the bias correction to your questions. Also, what is important is what is the quality of the observed data? If the higher the quality of your observation data, the, the more complicated we can actually make the correction. If you don't have good observation data, uh, then of course, if you don't have much data on extremes, it's very difficult to correct for that. Now, there's different complexity aspects. It might actually depend on your own skills. It might also uh, uh, depend on whether you're using a more generic at larger scale or interested in very local scale information. It is also important whether you can just use the output of models yourself, if you just analyze precipitation or temperature data, or whether you need the data as input for a, uh, an impact model, an agricultural model, hydrological model, an energy model. And of course, finally, it also depends on the timing you have and the, and the funding uh, available. Now, uh, uh, I want to uh, 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 stress at the end is you know, uh, don't do any more correction or downscaling than you need. Because with every new correction or downscaling, you do add also uh, uncertainty. Uh, look really at the level of accuracy that you require and that you uh, can get. And look at other sources of uh, uncertainty as well.